Hello, friends. Welcome back. We are talking about fables, and we have learned about three fables so far. We've learned about the boy who cried wolf, and the moral of that story is don't lie. Don't tell lies. We learned about the milk, or the milkmaid in the milk pail, or the something like that. Yeah, the milkmaid in the milk pail. And we talked about how you weren't supposed to count, or count all your chickens before they hatch. And then our most recent story or fable we just read was the goose and the golden egg. And it was talking about how you don't be greedy, you could lose everything, um, you have to be patient, all that stuff. And today we're going to hear another fable. It's short, it has a lesson, because you know those are two characteristics of a fable. It's short and has a lesson. But today's fable, there's no people. It's all animals in our fable. But guess what? These animals talk another characteristic of a fable. It's got to be short. It's got to have a lesson. Sometimes the animals talk. Now we know that animals don't really talk, but these animals in this story do. They act like people, okay? So many of Aesop's fables have animals that act like people, and we're going to look at some of them today, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to look at a picture before we start. So the dog in the manger is the name of our fable today. And I want you to look at this picture, okay? So what do you see? If you'll notice this dog, he's standing on a pile of hay, but he's standing on this wooden thing right here. And it's called a manger. Oops. And that manger is what holds food for animals, okay? It kind of sits low on the ground, but you can put food in it so the animals can get onto it and eat it. So, and in this animal, it looks similar to a cow or a bull, but it's actually an ox, okay? And if you have more than one, it's an oxen. So we're gonna see that ox and oxen in our story, along with this dog, and it has something to do with this manger. So what do you think? It looks like maybe these animals might be talking to each other or maybe kind of looks like he's yelling at them, but what do you think they're talking about? What do you think's going on in this picture? I want you to make a prediction about what these two animals are talking about. And then I want you to listen to today's story and see if you can figure out if your prediction's correct or not, okay? But before we do that, let's talk about our vocabulary words. Budge, to move. I pushed and pushed, but was not able to budge the refrigerator. Manger, an open box where hay is put for animals to eat. The farmer put fresh hay in the manger for his horses to eat. Oxen, animals similar to bulls used for carrying or pulling things. Two oxen pulled the farmer's cart across town. And plow, a farm tool with one or more blades that turns the soil. The farmer used the plow to prepare the soil for planting the corn seeds. All right, so let's get listening to our story today. And uh, remember, you're listening to hear if your prediction is going to come true or not. There was once a dog who liked to nap on hot days in the cool barn. He liked to sleep in the manger, a long wood box where hay was put for animals or for the farm animals to eat. So does the dog like to nap in the barn? Yeah, what or, well, I'm sorry, let me change that. Why does he like to nap in the barn? Because it's a lot cooler in there, isn't it? All right, one hot day after a long afternoon of pulling the plow, remember that's the tool that you used to turn the soil, the oxen returned to the barn, hungry for their dinner. But they couldn't get to their food because the dog was in the manger taking a nap on the hay. Excuse me said one of the tired oxen. Would you please move so I can eat my hay? The dog, angry at being awakened from his nap, growled and barked at the ox. Do you think the dog has a good reason to be angry at the ox? I don't think so. Please, said the tired, hungry ox. I have had a hard day and I'm very hungry. But the dog, who did not even eat hay, but only enjoyed it for its comfort, barked and snapped in response and refused to budge. He refused to move. 
At last, the poor oxen had to give up and went away tired and hungry. So the moral of the story is you should be nice and share, especially when someone else needs something more than you do. So did the dog really need that? No, he could have moved, couldn't he? He could have moved and then he could have come back after they were done eating. Did the oxen need the hay? Yeah, because they were hungry and they were tired. They had worked a long, hard time today. All right, let's go over our questions. Do you think your prediction was right? Oh, that was a nice job. All right, what is the setting of the fable? Remember, setting is where it takes place. In the barn or farm, you could say either one. What other fables have we heard that has a barn or a farm? The goose and the golden egg. We even talked about how the boy who cried wolf was in the field by a farm, wasn't he? So does this illustration show you the beginning, middle, or end of the fable? It's the end. And how we know that? Because he's barking at him and he's growling at him. He's telling him, go away, you ruined my nap. How do you think the oxen feel when they enter the barn? They were tired and hungry. They've been pulling that plow all afternoon. I'd be tired and hungry too. Why do the oxen want the dog to move from the manger? They wanna be able to eat their food. They want the hay. Is their request reasonable? Like, would that be something that is okay to say? Yeah. Could this really happen? Did they really ask the dog to move? No. We know that animals don't really talk. So if it doesn't really, animals can't really talk, is this fact or is it fiction? It's fiction because it's not real. How does the ox in the story act like a person? He talks. And how does he act like an animal? He wants to eat that hay. Does the dog budge and get out of the manger? No, he was kind of mean, wasn't he? you were the ox and the dog refused to get out of the manger, what do you think you would do? I'm not sure what I would do. I may have dumped over the hay, made him fall out of the hay. That would have been mean though, wouldn't it? That would not have been nice of me. All right, guys, I want you to go to Google Classroom, answer your questions, turn it in to me, and I'll see you guys on our next one. Bye, friends.